Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the least upper bound property of an ordered set. If we let S be an ordered set, and of course ordered set simply means that there is a relation which we'll call just less than such that two things are true. The first thing is that if x and y are in S, x and y in S, then either x is less than y, or x is equal to y, or y is less than x. And secondly, if I give you x, y, and z in S, then x less than y and y less than z implies that x is less than z. So it has to be, uh, there's a trichotomy property, and then there's a transitive property for ordered sets. We say that s has the least upper bound property if for every non-empty subset E, so if I have a non-empty subset E of S, the supremum of E exists in S. Sup E exists in S. And now, we can have two sort of classic examples of a set, an ordered set that does not satisfy this least upper bound property and one that does. Okay, so here we go. So, the remark or note Q is an ordered set. It's actually more than an ordered set, it's an ordered field. It's an ordered field that does not have the least upper bound property. So to show this, we can do the following. We can consider the sets. Let's consider the sets. To see this, we'll consider the, the set A. The set A is the set of rational numbers P, such that what? Such that P squared is less than 2. And what we'll do is we can, say, we can see that, in some sense, what the, the candidate for the supremum is. The candidate for the supremum, and we can see this, is the soup of this, the soup of A is the square root of 2, and we classically know that root 2 is not a rational number, and the proof is simple of that. If root 2 were rational, if square root of 2 were in Q, then we could write root 2 as P over Q, where P over Q have no common factors. And then if I square this relationship, I have 2 is equal to p squared over q squared, which tells us that p squared is 2q squared. Now, if p squared is 2 times something, that means that p has to be even, because the only way you can, the square of something is going to be even is if the number is even. So this tells me that p is even. Okay. Well, if p is even, then p is equal to 2k, which says that p squared is 4k squared. And that tells me that 4k squared is 2q squared. Or that tells me that 2k squared is q squared. And so that tells me that q is even. This tells us that q is even. Because q squared is 2 times something. So q is even, and p is even, and that's a contradiction. So the supremum of a is root 2 is not a rational number, which shows that the supremum does not lie in the set Q, right? So hence, sup, sup of the set A, sup of A is not in the set Q, and that shows that Q does not satisfy the least Brown property. More, we can actually say a little bit more. It turns out that if, if P is in this set A, then we can consider 
than q, which is p minus p squared over 2, p squared minus 2 over p plus 2, is also in the set A, is in the set A. And moreover, q is larger than p because p squared minus 2 is what? p squared minus 2 is less than 0, so this is a cumulative of adding something in A. And q is bigger than p. So for every p in the set A, there's always a rational number that's larger than that. So there's no candidate for the supremum being in the set, uh, being in the set q. That shows that q does not have the least number bound property. So what we'll do in further videos is we'll construct the real numbers. When we construct the real numbers, we'll see the real numbers by construction will satisfy the least number bound property, and they are an ordered field. Thank you very much.